Welcome to our demonstration on how to install and configure a VMware vSphere host. For this demonstration, we will be installing ESXi 5.1. Before starting the installation, we need to download the ESXi ISO image and configure our host to boot from this image. When the host boots from the ISO image, the installer will load. After the installer loads, we are ready to begin the installation. Start by pressing Enter at the welcome screen and press F11 to accept the end user license agreement. The host will now scan for the available disk drives. From the list of available disks, we select the disk drive on which we want to install ESXi. Note that if an existing ESXi image is detected on the disk, we will be asked if we want to install or upgrade that image. We will choose the Install option and press Enter. This will overwrite the existing ESXi image and configuration on the disk. If we wanted to preserve the existing host configuration, we would have needed to choose the Upgrade option. Next, we select the keyboard layout for our host and enter password for the root account. Note that the password must be at least seven characters long, and we are asked to type it twice in order to verify if the correct password is used. We are now ready to begin the installation. Confirm that we are ready to install ESXi by pressing F11. The ESXi software is now installed. Once the installation is complete, we unmount the ISO image or eject the CD and reboot the server. The host will now boot from the ESXi image installed on the disk. Next, we will configure the management network for our newly installed vSphere host. To do this, we will use the Direct Console User Interface, commonly referred to as the DCUI. Begin by connecting to the host console. From the main DCUI screen, press the F2 key to log in. Enter the login name of root, followed by the password that was specified during the installation. At the System Customization screen, we first have the option to set the root password. If, for some reason, we choose not to set the root password during the installation, or if we want to change the password, we select Configure Password. As we configured the password during installation, we will skip this step. Begin by selecting the Configure Management Network option. The first step to configuring the host management network is to identify the network adapters that will be used for the management traffic. It is recommended to select at least two NICs in order to provide for redundancy. Here we have selected VM NIC 0 and VM NIC 2. Next, we select the VLAN option. Specify the VLAN ID that has been assigned to the management network. If we are not using VLANs for the management network, we leave this value blank. Now, we'll configure the IP address of the host. We first select the option to set static IP address, and then provide the address, the subnet mask, and the gateway. Note that it is highly recommended to use a static IP address for the ESXi host. Also, the IP address should be resolvable in DNS for both forward and reverse lookup. Here, we are not using IPv6, so we skip this step. Now, we configure the DNS settings for the host. We select the DNS configuration and enter the primary and alternate DNS server, along with the host name of the ESXi host. Next, we can enter any custom DNS suffixes. With this, the configuration of the IP address is completed. So, we press Escape and answer Yes when asked to apply the changes. In the next step, we test the management network to make sure that the settings are configured properly. Here we see that it pings the gateway IP address, along with the IP address of the DNS server, and does a DNS lookup of the host name. Once all the tests are passed successfully, we press OK. The configuration of the management network is now complete. We press Escape to exit from the DCUI. At this point, we are ready to connect our host to the vCenter server, where it will be centrally managed along with our other vSphere hosts. This concludes our demonstration on how to install and configure a new vSphere host. Thank you.